Welcome, Ascended Stars, Ellie J. Thank you so much for being here today. And we're going to be doing Sag, Sagittarius. Hello and welcome. All newcomers, um, thank you for checking me out. I greatly appreciate it. And also, um, returning, returning, returning. Thank you for popping back in. Take what resonates. Please be, leave behind what doesn't. And uh, let's just get into it, huh? All right, let's see for the Sagittarius energy, what comes in here for Sagittarius energy, please. Spirit, thank you so much for these lovely messages. Or some things that need to be told and known for the collective of Sagittarius. Gaia. Gaia is on the forefront. So let's see what that means. Gaia says it's peace, tranquility, and serenity. Gaia is the ancestral mother of all life. She symbolizes abundance, providence, gratitude for nature, promises, and the earth. She's so powerful that she can take all of your worries, pain, and sorrows. She's so sacred that any promise made while touching her soil is irrevocable. Drawing this card calls you to reconnect with the great green mother step out of your chaos and regain your center spending time in the elements helps to find the inner true peace meditate relax in a body of water set out for a hike or sit beside a fire let each moment in nature unravel the knots in your heart and mind oh just absolutely divine okay let's um see what's What's the 411 when it comes to the Sagittarius vibration? Sagittarius energy. Let's take that out of the way. Oh, oh my, okay. Something has fallen. Wow, the world. And the Three of Swords reversed. Okay, so... There's been a, ma a massive heartbreak. Some kind of major heartbreak has, has occurred for Sagittarius. Um, well, we're going to get into it, but let's, those two wanted to come out. Most, they just flew out. So what is this about, Spirit? Why are we finding out about this? So it's it's the time, uh, your time of, of being heartbroken and feeling sad and... That's all coming to an end, okay? That's all coming to an end. You've been stuck, okay? You've been stuck with the way that you thought before. Now you're going uh, introspectively. And you're getting a second chance, okay? Um, you're, you've been judged here. And you've had to move away from certain, certain things you were stuck to. That you're investing your time and energy into that was not rewarding yeah you, this came in very suddenly you have to you know redirect reframe reflect yeah this karmic cycle is just about done and it's going to take courage and strength to move past this um turbulent time just keep your eye on the future yes because you you have you coming in as the empress you have um, such a beauty, such a delight, such a power. You are ordained here to do more than just um, what you were doing before. And that you're really getting on top of your game here. You're working hard for that. There is people like who are um, either sending bad energy your way. And it's, it's a bit daunting because you have to get up every day to do what you got to do. And you know that there's opposition. You know that there's people fighting against you. You know that it's not going to be an easy fight each and every time you get up. And, you know, I really am going to tell you what I feel with um, this Nine of Wands energy. In particular, what I'm getting is the Prometheus vibe. Prometheus gave a fire, stole fire from the gods and gave it to humans. And I feel like this energy with you, like you've done something quite ambitious and you're paying a high price for it okay uh your home or your heart is unstable maybe there's guilt regret because you have an energy of like sudden epiphanies sudden things that are coming that used to make you stuck but you're 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 reflecting on this differently now 
you're looking at this differently now. You're not looking at it how you used to look at it. And you have a different perspective. You've gained the courage to step away from things that no longer serve you. Okay, because you're here to get your new to get yours. Okay, judgment. You're here to get your uh, opportunity, spirit. You know, like life has set up where you can have another chance. Okay, but this is not a chance that's just coming to come. This is a chance that you need to walk away from something that doesn't serve you anymore. Yeah, this is about a way of thinking. Page of Swords. So this is something that you're you don't you don't, you don't like this information. You were too stuck in your ways of of how you want it your way. You um you were doing things incorrectly. Okay, you were you were being driven by the by uh, lower vibrational motivations. Seven of Wands. Yeah, and then it always causes you to like be confronting people and you know standing up for what you believe and being defensive it's causing like defensiveness everywhere you go knight of cups okay so somebody wants to apologize to you but it sounds like you need to apologize to somebody for some way of thinking being stuck uh it's yeah okay so there's an apology coming about truth there's there's truth coming in with an apology there's an apology coming in with truth Somebody's telling you, somebody wants to tell you something, okay? What do they want to tell you? What is this truth? What is this truth that's coming in for Sagittarius? Okay, the truth is that you're, the cycle is over, okay? You, got, you have to gain control of the reins of your life, of your emotions, and keep it moving, keep pushing, okay? Somebody is having the courage to move forward. What used to hold them behind, hold them back. Uh, keep them stuck is no longer doing that to you you're able to break free okay it's taken a lot of anxiety here at night you've been uh, thinking about it a lot this is activity that might be happening will happen or currently happening for my Sagittarius collective okay so this has gotten you off your center But you definitely want a second chance in life. You definitely want to do things the right, correct way, fashion, manner. What else do we need to know, Spirit? So basically, you're moving from an energy that doesn't serve you anymore. And you have already learned your lessons. Many of you have learned your lessons and you're moving through. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I get a feeling that somebody owes you an apology and they're you're, they're not doing that. They're getting you're getting they're you might be getting another chance here because maybe you you're putting being put into this new energy but you haven't done all the full work yet. All the work that you needed to do is still uh, still here. Yeah, look what we got. The Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords reverse. So you're not stuck anymore, but you're not moving forward because you're moving away from something that you're not facing your emotions here. You're not fully embracing them. You still need to do some reflection. This is probably what's needed. Um, the animal kingdom, you guys do rule horses and animals, but it could be uh, nature is, is the next best thing for you because something has happened. You're healing from something, from this cycle, and you need to reflect. Mm-hmm. It could be another queen of wands. It could be, um, or could if you're the feminine, it could be a king of pentacles. It could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. But it could be somebody um, who has money, who uh, is very financially set. And uh, for vice versa, it could be um, for the male, somebody who you're very turned on by and have a lot of passion for. That could be a fire sign. doesn't have to be. It could be another Sag. It could be Leo or Aries. And this is being, um, scales are coming, the scales are getting balanced, okay? So it could be like you're going through judgment here. You're, I mean, um, judgment, court, judicial system. So there could be like a court matter that needs to be, that's been pending, that needs to be balanced. 
This could be bringing you a lot of anxiety right now in the home. It could have to do with some kind of landlord, uh, real estate, um, something like that. All right, we're going to get an astrological card. I think I'm done with that. A lot of people closing cycles for February, man. I can't die. Capricorn Moon. So look, you had that this this um, Earth element here. Earth element. Somebody <laughs> with the Earth. Okay, so Capricorn Moon. They're very disciplined, organized, stability, enduring, patience. You stay focused on your goals and use problem solving to overcome obstacles. Your energy is ambitious, single-minded, and determined to get things done. Yeah, so you're you're taking you're being guided to take a hold of the reins here. But some of there's a collective here that's not doing that. They're running away from their responsibilities. And still spirits giving them more opportunities, Jupiter and Pisces. You're getting a lot of opportunities to heal. But um and, and the thing is that somebody knows that they need to heal, okay, because they already know that they have to do the work and they have to kind of just slow down, all right? Because we have this uh retrograde energy, which is not good for pushing your agenda, doing things, and moving forward uh, uh, up until it does go direct on the 29th and then on the 5th of February. So Venus is the 29th and the 5th of February is Mercury. Mercury. Okay, and um, Venus is retrograde in the sign of Capricorn. So this is affecting your money. Okay, this has got stuff on hold. And um, you're finding problem-solving abilities to get things keeping moving, but you're running away maybe from paying a bill, from uh, paying maybe the rent is not fully covered yet, things like that that are just keeping you on hold. They're very new, little minuscule nu nu nuances and things that don't really become, they're not really big at first, but they can become overwhelmingly like a, like a snowball, you know? That's what I'm picking up. So, yeah. I'm not going to pick another one. What else do we need here? Let's get some feather cards, lighten it up, because you got some heavy energy here. Running away. Do we have swords reversed? All of this is kind of accumulating because you're not healing from your heart. Like it's ha you're having a really hard time healing, maybe from an empress or from uh, what you've done to an empress or your behavior in the past. So what is this? This is Oreo. A new creative venture is on the horizon. See it as a positive change. Of course there's a creative venture. Of course there is. You guys are very creative individuals, entrepreneurs. Okay, these two popped out. We have Nut Hatch. Stay grounded and welcome the new knowledge and perspective coming to you. And the little cardinal. Stand tall and proud. See the leadership role unfolding ahead of you. You're going to be given a leadership role here, which is great. Let's get you an Ascended Master to see what they can give you for advice, to, what direction. Phases and cycles, okay. You got to let this play out, okay. You have to do the introspection, the introspective work, Sagittarius. They're saying it's important because for your next cycle, you need to go inward, be receptive, be reflective. Um, take a look at your emotions. Stop escaping from trying to do this work because it just won't end well. And there is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. See, the full moon is about releasing emotions that you had. Maybe something invested in something that didn't work out. And you got to, like, you know, move on. It didn't work out. That's all I got to tell you. And, I, you know, you know your life. But let's do some numerology. relationship change this is what it's about so you're healing and you need to really ground your energy you're going into a new situation a new cycle a new world um you're still broken hearted from the past but there's a new beginning around the corner so this is like a january to about february 5th reading um so i hope this has been helpful and this is what we're looking at at the moment. Let's get some Dr. Emoto since it is have to do with love and emotions and relationship change. What can you give us for our Sagittarius Collective, please? Earth and water. 
very good combo. So maybe going to the springs if you're able to. But maybe water would be very healing for you too. Dolphin. Okay, so your playful energy has um, kind of gone away. It's been diminished because you've been so sad. So they want you to be playful again. And, you know, just know that things are going to work out. And you will regain your harmony and your peace. You just have to heal. And um, you have to take the time to do that. Like, to, to reflect. Big message coming through on that. All right, take care. And I'm sorry if this didn't resonate. It's not yours. Don't take it. If it did, great. Thumbs up, a comment. Um, you know, take your spiritual Epsom salt baths. Get your crystals. Protect your energy because it is in a low vibration right now. And you can be inf easily influenced by others or swayed because of this um, heartbreak that you are still purging. But the Spirit's getting you through it into the next cycle. Take care. Blessings. Bye-bye.